Kush's movie review. This week's movie review is "Fly Me to the Moon," a fly on the wall documentary about Tesla and all of the absurd demands that Elon Musk has made to his employees. Get it? Because no. he loves space rockets. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. I, I try not to follow the Elon Musk these days. So well, I, you must, I definitely right, don't get that reference. Before we actually get to the movie review, have you, why? What is it, right? Because the guy, the Amazon guy, Jeff Bezos, is obsessed <laughs> with space as well. Elon's obsessed don't follow with him space. Either. But I don't know if you've seen the pictures. Every thing about being a billionaire and building your own space rocket, they're all shaped like penises. Well, yeah, because that's that's they're aerodynamic. No, but seriously, I, I can't remember whose it was. Whether it was Jeff's or Elon's, I believe it was Elon's. The one it literally had like bollocks at yeah. the end of it. I believe that was Elon's. Like anyway. That was like a year ago. Yeah. It was. SpaceX. Yeah, SpaceX, that's Elon. But Jeff Bezos is my favorite billionaire, evil billionaire, okay. because because he took William Shatner to space. And any man that took William Shatner to space is A OK with me. Stop. All right. Yeah. Anyway, fly me to the moon. What's it about, Kush? Fly me to the moon. Uh, rated PG thirteen. It is two hours and twelve minutes. It is directed by a man named Greg Berlanti. Uh, the last feature film he directed was 2018's uh, an adaptation of the musical Love Simon. That was uh, kind of not necessarily controversial but some folks loved it some people hated it anyways um this is definitely written by a woman named rosa rose gilroy and it is based on a short story that i could not find anywhere uh by keenan flynn and bill kirsten um this is not necessarily a true story but it is based on true events meaning What's true is we definitely went to the moon. Uh, there was definitely a space project. And um, they may or may not have marketed it to the world. Again, Tang was brought up tonight. Um, the watches that the guys wear in regular life. Th that was the thing. Anyways, this uh, stars Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum, and uh, Mr. Woody Harrelson. It's only okay. Um, Scarlett Johansson is exceptional in this. A lot of people I've been seeing online, uh, there have been special, plenty of special previews. To, uh, I actually had tickets to one of those and then just botched it, forgot I had it, ended up seeing it with regular people. But... Uh, Scarlett Johansson goes above and beyond on the call, but also folks are like, I didn't know she had that kind of range. It's like, so you've never seen a Scarlett Johansson movie? Uh, okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, she can do all that. She she does all that. She's very good in this. Woody Harrelson, he's Woody Harrelson, but he's also, he, he plays like a shadow agent. You, you can't call him on the phone, but he'll be there if you need him. And, uh, yeah, he, his character is kind of intimidating. Like, if you fuck us up, I'm going to murder everybody you know. And then I'm going to murder you. And, and then uh, Channing Tatum? I got nothing against the guy. I think he's become a very good actor. I've, I know I've seen other stuff with him that wasn't 21st Jump Street. I haven't seen any of the magic mics, but I know I've seen him in other stuff that I can't put my finger on. And something about this movie with him does not work. He might actually be the worst part of this movie. And I am. Yeah, not, not trying to throw shade at him. I'm just saying, like, he's done better than this. I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know where what, things went wrong, but something about him does not work in this. Um, this is the space race of the 1960s. Uh, Russia has already gone to space successfully and orbited the Earth. 
America is trying to not only get to space, but go to the moon and succeed them. And while we do that, you're just like, something's wrong here. So it's, it's again, the 1960s. This is a, this is a movie. This is a time where everybody in the office is wearing white collared shirts, buttoned all the way up, black tie, horn rim glasses. However, Channing Tatum is in a bright yellow muscle suit. He's a muscular wow. guy. I get it. And, and the ladies will love that. However, it's just like, come on, guys. What the fuck are you doing here? I know we need, I know we're doing that wide shot. We need to spot Channing Tatum, but there's no way in hell that this character that may or may not have existed is just in a spandex muscle shirt. <laughs> it's not happening. Sorry, guys. I, I would love that. That's not the worst part of the movie. All right. Or, or if that is the worst part of the movie, so be it. Um, It's a charming film. It's, again, not necessarily a true story other than, yes, we went to the moon. We were in competition with Russia. There was a lot of problems. There was 11 other failed projects before that. Uh, I, I believe they take a lot of liberties with this, and I applaud them for not going based on a true story or based on true events or based on this or based on that. They're just based like based on true conspiracy theories. All they're doing is just Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum. It's a, it's a rom com, and they go to space. Obviously, neither of those two go to space. But still, um, I enjoyed it. I did not feel any of the two hours and 12 minute length. However, theaters need to still get rid of that 30 minutes, that 30 minute slot of previews. That shit is getting tired. I've heard other people had to wait 45 minutes for this movie before it started. That's not okay, guys. Or... Uh, Here's my thing. Break it down, Mike Fish. Because some people enjoy the, the previews. So, 45 minutes of previews, but, though? But, but eight, for every movie showing, all it takes is a little bit of it. to say, for Fly Me to the Moon, movie starts at 8.30, previews start at 8. I would Boom. love that notification. So if you want to watch the previews, get there for 8. If you don't, don't care, you can get there for 8.25. Boom, movie starting. That's what I'm paying it would for. be. I, I agree. But they're not going to do that because obviously they want people to be set there and forced to watch the previews. So they spend more money. In, so hopefully they get. Ooh, well, here's the problem movie. with that, bro, is folks are aware that there are 20 to 30 minutes of previews and commercials. So they will show up 20 to 30 minutes late. Uh, the house lights are already down. And for some reason, in the world of reserved seating, they can't read a goddamn map and go like, oh, I, I should only go five rows up and six row, six seats deep. However, they need their goddamn flashlight for that. By the way, the house is already full. They're the only two seats available in the house. And they're like, I need to see this thing here. And, and by the way, if you're in one of those five other seats, you get blinded by a flashlight again the movie doesn't have to be even on it's it's a distraction it's terrible um let's get back to the movie here this was very well done i uh i feel scarlett johansson uh, goes above and beyond she, she she plays a con artist and so again she does a southern debutante she does a lot of different voices in this movie which i found oh, very, very funny she does that she does that Channing Tatum is very just brass tacks, just very above the board. And but just the facts. And, and while I don't feel like his physical space is above and beyond, like again, it's weird that again, this is the 1960s. People are very conservative. So he would be wearing that white shirt and tie all the time, but he's just wearing muscle suits because. He was a former Air Force guy. And he's just also very muscular and he's very handsome. You got it flowing, yeah. baby. Yeah. Woody Harrelson? Not wearing. I would suit. like more Woody Harrelson in this movie 
However, he's used in just the right doses. Again, there's no real way to contact him. He's there when you need him. And if you don't complete your objective, there's a threat that uh, you and yours might not see tomorrow. It, it's He's a little intimidating. He's not trying to be. He, he always has a smile. And you're just like, this guy's going to murder everybody in the room. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, I, I definitely enjoyed this movie. Is it a great movie? Not at all. For some reason, the not a lot of people saw this. Like it, it didn't do well. I think it came in. I think it debuted at number two, as opposed to number one. But the the folks that have seen this, they're like Scarlett Johansson, Tim, Tim. They have great chemistry. They kind of disagree with that. I kind of disagree with that. Again, something's wrong with Channing Tatum here. I don't necessarily know if it. I don't think it's his fault, but. Something about him in this movie does not work. Um, however, it's a good story. I enjoyed all two hours and 12 minutes of it. I did not think we needed any more of it by any means. But I, I wouldn't recommend we cut anything out either. And um, again, while not necessarily based on a true story or based on true events, I had a great time. It, it's, it's fun, but it will be forgettable. It will be forgettable, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm giving it three out of five. I would like to give it a bigger, bigger score, but I can't. Three out of five. Still enjoyable. Uh, great date movie. Mike Fish. Mrs. Fish would love this movie. She's going to want to look at Channing Tatum and his muscle shirt. But I think she'll be like, Scott Jansen was so charming. You think I should get her haircut? And I'll be like, sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then she'd be like, Oh, so you think she's prettier than me? Oh, fuck. I fell to the trap. So she go trap. for that trap. So she go for that trap. Uh, there you go. They fly me to the moon. And let me play amongst the... Do they play that? I'm assuming they play that song during the movie. They right? don't. What? I don't recall that being a thing in this movie. Why would you name the movie after a Frank Snarch song, not play the Frank Snarch song? Great question. Uh, they couldn't get the rights. However, I, yeah, I don't recall that being a thing. Oh, if it right. is, it's maybe way in the background, and I didn't hear it. But oh, they probably had again. Some, I'm like, in the newest uh, movie theater in San Francisco, so I would pros- possibly hear all of that stuff. No, in a way, things are going. And they probably had some like Doja Cat remake that's got some hippity hop in it. Uh, Christ, I'm old. Anyway, so there you go. Fly me to the moon. Three out of five. Check it out. Okay. If you're if you're watching this when this movie drops or when this video drops, it's in theaters now. If not, just Google it and it'll probably be show you where it's streaming. If you're watching this like in a year's time, maybe. it'll be streaming on like Apple TV in like two months. I, I believe it's an Apple TV movie, despite uh who produced it. Anyways, anyways, there you go. Three out of five. Boom. Find me to the moon. <laughs> That's all, folks. Play me off, Johnny.